And let's let's start with what what I think was the most significant news of the day. Yeah. Because Tom Brady is retired. I don't think he's really retired. I think he's coming back. I think he's retired from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Buccaneers coach Bruce Arians earlier today talking about Brady's status and whether or not Brady will ultimately be playing for another team if he decides to play again. Here he is. Now there's quotes obviously coming out that you would welcome Tom Brady back whenever, right? And I think a lot of coaches would. And then they said, would you agree to let him go somewhere else? In that question, I didn't get to hear the entire thing, but were they saying in the short term, long term, or in your eyes, the same exact thing doesn't matter? Like if in five years when he's 50, if he wants to come <laughs> back and play, like do you think that's, you know, because you'll probably still be coaching by then. But is that what did you mean by that quote? And uh, do you think there is a chance he comes back? If he comes back, I, I don't think so because of the reasons he retired. Uh, but uh, if he does, he's going to be playing for us. That's just some of what Bruce Arians said. More details provided both to Pat Mac- McAfee and speaking to reporters today. Shereen, I think the last person to comment reliably on the comings and goings of Tom Brady is Bruce Arians because it was Arians who said before Brady retired, I'll be shocked if he retires. More recently, he said, I'll be shocked if he comes back. I think Bruce Aarons just may be shocked a lot because I don't think he really knows what Brady's going to do. And I think if Brady comes back, he's going to be intent on playing somewhere else. And I know the Buccaneers hold his rights, but I think if he's intent on playing somewhere else, it's going to be very hard to keep that from happening. And it's not going to be Bruce Aarons' call as to whether or not the Buccaneers let it happen. Yeah, Mike, you know... He hasn't really retired. He hasn't used the word retired. And as I was doing my research for this, I did a a search and it came up with Tom Brady yesterday from a golf tournament. uh, And he again left the door open. They asked him if his Let's Go podcast was his only employment as of right this minute. And he says that's to be determined. So every interview that he's done, he hasn't slammed the door as Bruce Arians claims he has done in private conversations. So I do think there's still an opportunity for Tom Brady to come back and play. Now, having said all that, don't you think that this has to be done sooner than later, especially if he's playing for another team, A, because of the way that he gets ready to play, and B, if you remember back, to, and I realize the, the offseason was a little bit different with COVID, but remember how it, long it took him to learn the Bucks' offense, and we just thought he was going to step right in and learn it. It was a little bit of a learning curve there, and the Bucks didn't exactly start off 2020 uh, with a bang, and they had struggles, and he had struggles, and there was a little bit of thought of, hey, is Tom Brady done, and all those sorts of things. So I do think that this needs to be done sooner than later if he's going to play elsewhere, Mike. Well, the reality, though, is the Buccaneers can't make a move before June 1 because that would trigger a $32 million cap charge yep. for this season. They can't trade him. They can't cut him. They can't put him on the reserve retired list until after June 1. I personally think that part of the the truce that he's negotiated with his wife entails no football at least until June 1. And then after that, the wheels may be in motion. And look, he's the one that started all this by saying, never say never, six days after he announced whatever his status currently is. And I think he retired from the Buccaneers. There were so many questions about why did he only mention the Buccaneers in his multi-page social media post announcing his retirement. And he thanked everyone in the organization in one way, shape, or form didn't mention the Patriots and uh, that created a little bit of a ruckus, but maybe the easy answer is that was his separation from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And if he does come back to play, it will be for another team. And look, look, Arian said that it would be bad business. This is what he told reporters. He's not going to let him play for another team. What if someone want to trade for him? It's going to take five first round picks. I mean, nobody's going to give five first round picks. I, I look at it very simply. Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay and signed a two-year contract. Last year, he signed an extension, but it was mainly a salary cap thing. It's not like they gave him some big extra pile of money and, oh, anything else they would have given him, he earned by winning a Super Bowl in his first year with the team. If he wants to go somewhere else, it's not a conversation he's going to have with Bruce Arians. Sorry, Bruce. It's a conversation he's going to have at, at a minimum with Jason Light. 
if not with light, with the Glazer family. And it, it, it's not all that hard to make the argument that Tom Brady should be given the ability to move on if he wants to. Now, maybe there'll be some perfunctory draft pick compensation, but, but nothing dramatic, nothing significant. He's already given the Buccaneers everything they could ask for. A Super Bowl win in 2020 and a full stadium for their home games in 2021 and a team that made it to the divisional round. What, what more could they want? This is not a guy in whose way you stand if he wants to come back, and I think he does. We spent a lot of time yesterday talking about how the Dolphins were trying to do a Sean Payton-Tom Brady package deal. The fact that Brady was even in that conversation makes me more convinced he's coming back. I think it's going to be with the 49ers, and I really don't think Bruce Arians, who likes to huff and puff, is going to blow his house down. Mike, let me ask a question about the post-June 1. But they can announce that they're making him a post-June 1, right? And he can go agree to terms with another team before June 1. Is that Do I have that correct? Well, they would have to trade him effective June 2. And there can be a loose understanding as to where he's going to be traded. Just like the Matt Stafford trade from last year. Announced or but what if they cut acknowledged him? or... Oh, they could cut him... They could cut him with a post-June 1 designation. They could right. do that, and then he could sign with another team. I, I, I just don't think I, – I'd be stunned think be if they trade. cut him. I feel like they yeah. get something for him. But, yes, they could cut him now and process it after June 1 and only take the $8 million cap charge for him in 2022. That is a possibility. And, and again, if he wants it, how are you going to say no to that? How would right. you what 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 right do you have as the Buccaneers to squat on this guy and say, hey, you play for one team and one team only. If he doesn't want to play there anymore, if he's had enough of Bruce Arians, I mean, we've already seen those reports, Rich Hornberger, and that created a little bit of a dust storm a week and a half ago. And uh, and, and, you know, the, the, the smart thinking is there is something there that Arians is more retired than working full time and you know, barnstorming in and scrapping portions of the game plan and Brady resenting that. And, you know, so, so look, I just think something's going on there. And uh, I, I reiterate my point with all due respect to Bruce Arians. I don't trust him to be the, the best source of Tom Brady information as it relates to what Brady's going to do or what the Buccaneers will do if Brady wants to play again. I think he'll find a way to whatever team he wants to play for and I think it's in the league's best interest to facilitate that, too, if they have to twist some arms to make it happen. You don't want a situation where the guy wants to play and the Buccaneers are squatting on his rights because they can. Well, and here's the thing, Mike. If I'm Tom Brady and I do decide I want to play, maybe he has made an agreement with Giselle, as you said, to wait until June that he's not going to do any football stuff until then. But if I'm Tom Brady and I decide I want to play – like, I'm going to ask the Bucs. I want you to cut me because there's going to be more choices now. There's going to be more time to learn the playbook, all those sorts of things. I would go in and ask that and ask for that opportunity before all these teams feel their quarterback need. Now, June, you're talking about the 49ers, probably going to trade Jimmy Garoppolo. So they will have space and they can add Tom Brady and all those sorts of things. So that makes sense if it happens later. But I, if I'm Tom Brady, like, I want to look at all my options. I want to consider Denver. I want to consider Indianapolis. I want to consider some other places that I might have a chance to win a championship. And, and those opportunities might not be there come June 2nd if they wait that long. So that's what I would do if I'm Tom Brady and I have any inkling whatsoever that I want to play. Go ask for your release post-June uh, one release and and give you an opportunity at least to look around and to talk to some teams and find out what's out there look here's the reality if tom brady wants to talk to teams now he will if he wants to well, talk to teams yeah. later he will if he wants to make it known and and the last team to complain about it can be the buccaneers because they tampered yeah, right. with him two years yeah. ago they, they did in what Bruce Arians said at the Combine in 2020, and everybody kind of shrugged. Yeah, we're going to give Tom Brady a call. That's, tamper, that's a tampering violation. I know the NFL only enforces the tampering rules when it wants to. That was a violation. And then when they signed Tom Brady, they really worked hard to push the narrative that they didn't contact him at all until the moment they were allowed to. That was bullcrap. 
They were talking to him. They were recruiting him. They wanted him, and that's fine. My point is that just gives Tom Brady even more right to go out and talk to whoever he wants to talk to. And if he wants to go to the 49ers, I think it's very simple. 49ers move on from Garoppolo, trade or cut or whatever. Trey Lance is the quarterback until the moment that they work out a Tom Brady deal. And and the, the 49ers would be nuts to not take advantage this time around of an opportunity to let Tom Brady play for the team he grew up rooting for. They blew it two years ago. They blew it with Patrick Mahomes in 2017 because they thought they were going to get Kirk Cousins the next year. Then they trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. Then Tom Brady wants to come in 2020, and they say, no thanks, we're good. Well, you're not good enough, not without Tom Brady. If he wants to come back and cap his career playing for the team he grew up rooting for, you say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let us know when you're going to be here and let us know what we need to do. And 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 so... That, that's why it's different. He doesn't need to be available. Anywhere he wants to go, they'll know, he'll know, and they'll work it out. And to the extent that, that Bruce Arians thinks he's going to be an impediment, I just think Bruce Arians is dead wrong. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, Mike. I mean, Tom Brady's going to pull the strings here, and, and he should be allowed to do that. He brought Tampa Bay a Super Bowl title. He gave him their one title. He played there two years. Had a great career in Tampa. Let him do whatever he wants to do as a goodbye gift to Tom Brady. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.